Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on model testing of water turbines in hydroelectric power plants. Let us first understand what is this model testing and why it is necessary to conduct the test on model. We know that in hydroelectric power plant the size of water turbines is very large and it is not economical to conduct the test on these prototype units. And so we have to conduct the test on models which is geometrically similar to prototype units. In this video we are going to find out what is the power developed as well as what is the speed in RPM for the prototype unit. When the testing is carried out on model. Let us first understand what is the given question. A model of water turbine develops 25 kW when working under a head of 5 meter and running at 480 rpm. Find the power and rpm of actual turbine if working under a head of 40 meters. The model is 1 by 10th of prototype. Assume the efficiency of model is equal to the efficiency of the prototype. So this was the given question. Let us first understand what is the given data. Now test is carried out on this model. So we will use here the notations with small letter. So for model and prototype. So power developed for model that is small p 25 kilowatt head. For model H is 5 meter speed that is small n 480 rpm. Now here the dimension is given that is the dimension of model is 1 by 10th of the prototype. Now here this is the case of water turbines and that's why we will use here the diameter. So whenever the dimension is given that is the model is 1 by 10th of prototype that means diameter of this model is 1 by 10th size of the diameter of the prototype. So we will use here small d for the model and capital D for the prototype. So this is very important because the diameter word is not mentioned in the question but in case of this water turbines we have to use here as a diameter. Now prototype it is given that capital H that is the head is given so we will use here capital H is equal to 40 meter and the efficiency of the model is equal to efficiency of prototype. So this condition is also mentioned and we have to find out what is the power developed in the prototype as well as what is the speed in RPM for the prototype. Now we will move for calculation part. So first we will calculate what is the speed in RPM for the prototype. So we have relation that is capital N by small n is equal to small d by capital D under root of capital H by small h. So we can say that here the ratio of speed of this prototype divided by speed of model is equal to diameter of model divided by diameter of prototype under root of head of prototype divided by head of model. So this is the relation or this is the formula when the testing is carried out in model and this is the relation in between model and prototype. So when we put here the known values then capital N by 480 is equal to now D by capital D is nothing but 1 by 10 under root of 40 by 5. So capital N is equal to 136 RPM. Now we will move for the next point that is we will calculate the power of the prototype. So again we have here formula that is power of prototype capital P by power of model small p is equal to efficiency of prototype divided by efficiency of model in the bracket capital D by small d that is the diameter of prototype by diameter of model square and capital H by small h raised to 3 by 2. Now here it is given that the efficiency of model and prototype is same so this ratio is 1. Now if we put the remaining values that is p by 25 is equal to 10 square 
फोर्टी बाय फाइव एस टू थ्री बाय टू देन पावर इज फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड किलो वैट सो हियर यूनिट इज किलो वैट नाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द स्पेसिफिक स्पीड ऑफ द मॉडल एज वेल एज प्रोटोटाइप सो द स्पेसिफिक स्पीड इज शुड बी सेम बिकॉज दिस मॉडल इज जियोमेट्रिकली सिमिलर टू प्रोटोटाइप सो वी विल ट्राई हियर और कैलकुलेट हियर स्पेसिफिक स्पीड ऑफ मॉडल सो फॉर्मूला इज n that is the actual speed small n under root of small p divided by h raised to 5 by 4 so 480 under root of 25 divided by 5 raised to 1 by 25 that is 322 now in the same way we will calculate here that is the specific speed of prototype that is capital n to the uh, base s here 136 under root of 56 600 divided by 40 raised to 5 by 4 So it answer is three ten twenty two. So we can say that specific speed of model and specific speed of prototype both are same.